I mean, with doing residential deliveries and stuff, it's just easier. You know, I, it's like I would love to take advantage of GFS's delivery service, but I get a four hour window. Yeah, I, I can't I can't commit to being here for four hours straight, you know, so, so it's a, uh, Friday or Saturday, actually, when I took all the meat off the the big smoker, uh, this is how it was leaning. Uh, yeah, I know the smoker or the meat. <laughs> uh, you'll see. It's <laughs> thinking. The, the oh boy! Sh- shells aren't supposed to do that. Is is this mounted on your trailer? No, no. So what the hell happened? All right. So you see, right here is the main bar that goes across. Okay. That keeps the that keeps the two. Uh, I don't know the terms, but we'll just call them shelf holders. Uh, over okay. on this side, there is a set screw <laughs> that I think has come loose. Was not set. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's come loose. What's funny though, I mean, here, here's the thing. So like only when it's on this side, once it go, rotates up over the bar, it straightens out. <laughs> it's really weird. Yeah. Hey, when you buy discount stuff secondhand, and this is what you get. <laughs> I know. No, it's, it's been, it's, it's, yeah. Oh, stop sharing. Hey, Monday morning food truck. Um, yeah, I think it's right, it'll quick. be okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're good. Everything will be fine. Uh, back to uh, YouTube comments. Sorry. Uh, Bernie said, big numbers. Congrats. Uh, setting those stretch goals and coming so close is still a great feeling. That's how our June went. Um, yeah. We've gotten way better at projecting. Um, and we, I want to talk about Skippy's uh, projection and actual for June, um, which oh. I know was part of part of his anxiety for the month. Um, but oh. uh, he also said uh, that's a blessing that it did not catch fire. Have your electrician wire the cabinet with a larger cord should solve that. <laughs> have my elect Bernie. I don't have an electrician. Um, no, but contractor. Hot? Did- <laughs> hurt. Yeah, I'm I'm our electrician. Um, <laughs> It was my fault. Um, it was a, it was a, a quick grab of an, an extension cord um, that you know you you meant to go back to, and just forgot. So um, really, yeah, it could have been way worse. Um, there's been days where that cabinet's been on overnight um, do, with doing some of our Edna events, um, and yeah, that sits ten feet from our garage at the house. So. Um, Worst yes. case scenario. Worst case scenario. It could have been. Bad. It could have been really bad. Um, or there's plenty of times where that cabinet's rolling, where I, no one's home, and I'm running to the store real quick while it's, things are heating up in the morning or whatever. So, um, yep. Uh, some safeguards are going to be put into place. Uh, we're going to put a Nest uh, smoke detector, Wi-Fi smoke detector, into the trailer. Um, so if something does go awry, um, which will also suffices our co2 um but it's all wi-fi connected so i'll get an alert on my phone um if for some chance i'm not there so um and we'll be connected to the rest of the smoke detectors at the house so uh i'm gonna share a screen real quick uh this is why you need you need to um watch your stuff what well hold on one second Uh, is this gonna be from um we had um no, we had Tony from uh, uh, Barbecue on, or uh, what is it called? Oh. So, as you can see, that's not good. There's, there's a better one. Ooh, that is a propane tank. <laughs> that is a um, fire. Tank. Yeah. So th- I never thought to put a flame flower on the side of my trailer. <laughs> Talk about barbecue. <laughs> um, That's right. So everybody grab was, a stick and a hot dog. 
So the structure that is the, like the building was actually a hospital. Um, they do their food truck days or whatever, but that mm-hmm. was from Tony from yellow river who was on our, um, or yellow rose that was on our uh, podcast. And the, the aftermath was just absolutely, uh, crazy. But that's why he, not, not, it was an electrical issue from what I understand. It was a, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put my generator underneath my, uh, propane tank and fill it as it's going and just hope for the best kind of thing. But it was, it was very. But you turn uh, your generator off when you fill it with gas? I don't. Oh, either do I. Uh, sorry. Here's, so here's the aftermath of the trailer. That's the front of it from the inside, obviously. Oh, I think there, skylight now. Yeah, I think there might be corded <laughs> issues here too. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Corded I issues. That or maybe, is a, not... maybe a residential air conditioner. Um, but, uh, <sighs> but, but yeah, that was all right. Was people not, do not, do not, not put one of the six way plug th- extenders on a, on a, on your outlets and then plug in a whole bunch of appliances into it. Um, this should be residential home use. Also one oh one. Um, Chris and I had a conversation about how electricity works. Um, when we were fighting with generators, um, it hurts. Then we had, he had extension cord <laughs> into extension cord into four different things on one small extension cord. And even after that conversation where we said, yeah, this could start a fire. I didn't even think to change the one on the, the warming cabinet. And thus, uh, we almost started a fire. So, uh, there we go. Um, yeah, it's a, uh, it was a thing and, uh, hopefully yeah, the new camera comes and we'll get other thing taken care of. So, um, I still have to, uh, fix the outlet and then I still have my porch light that I got to replace. Um, so yeah, which apparently my new one requires the ground to be connected but the wiring for the trailer was only two wire. There is no ground wire running up there. Um, so yeah, now I got to rig that around. So, oh, well, the joys in life of a food truck owner and uh, figuring out how to do shit yourself. So, yeah, <laughs> I did uh Saturday. I did 15 racks of ribs. Nice. Did you sell them all? Yep. Well, it's for catering. Oh, I took ribs off my catering menu. Well, so <laughs> she was a really nice lady. So we'll just say that. I always preface <laughs> this with, I'm sure they're really, really nice people. Um, th- this can lead into another topic if you don't have anything else to chat about. Oh, you have other comments. Let's talk, let's finish the comments first. No, that's it. Yeah. Oh, another comment. Chad. Chad thinks we're not on the air. Oh, we're definitely on the air. Yeah. At least I hope so. It, I, I, it's there. It's live. I see all the things. Do you see dead people? I do not see dead people. That movie still gives me freakies. Um, okay. And I think we've talked about it before, but I think since we're kind of in the the heart of, of catering time, um, what is, what's your feeling on post- or we'll call it follow-up communication with your uh, catering people. Oh, we talked about this last week, but since no one heard it, yeah, yeah. Good call. Um, do you, do you believe in it? Do you think there is a place for it? Like, because I, to be honest with you, I can't remember what you said about it. So let's we'll act like we never talked about it. Okay. Um, we don't do it. Um, typically, we don't do it um, outside of a quick, "Hey, I hope everything." but normally we're on site for everything. Sure. You know, you don't so do we're a having that conver- we have that conversation a lot of times before we leave. Um, we did, we are not doing a whole lot of drop and goes this year. Um, probably five or less. Yeah. Where we don't have somebody at least on site for half of it. Um, so yeah, but yeah, for those drop and goes almost always, there'd be a, a message sent, you know, either that evening or the next day, um, Hey, just hope everything went well. Um, if we left things there, like, uh, chafing dishes or a camera or something like, you know, when can we pick us up, pick up Shit. stuff? What's good for you guys? 
Um, I used all four of my cameras and a friend's camera this weekend. <laughs> I have I still, six now. I, I still have to go. I have I have five, and I still have to go pick one up that was yeah. dropped off this morning. I have I have I'm getting quite the collection. Um, speaking of cameras, the foam ones are phenomenal. Absolutely yeah. phenomenal. You're talking about the ones that that you can the cam goes. Yeah, the pressed foam. Um, but they're there's, still they're still full. You can get the full size camera still. My the, the ones oh, that yes. we have will hold like eight pans. Yeah, of the shallow pans. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't recommend putting that much in there because they're really fucking heavy. Um, they but are. they seal so much better, and they're so much lighter. They're so much easier to carry. The only thing I wish they had was handles. So they got a lip around the top edge that you can yeah. carry them by, um, but it's kind of like cumbersome to do it that way. I would just wish they had handles. It would be so have much. You, have you seen the actual box, the CamGo boxes? Yeah, so you can, can just fit a whole half pan or full pan into them. Yeah, yeah. Um, they make they make ones where I think you can put two, like one on basically stack them if you're using yeah. lids or whatever. Um, I almost went that route. Yeah, I I don't know. <laughs> most of our pans for like pork and stuff don't lay sit f flat yeah. on top like they're usually mounted a little bit so that was my only concern with those um yeah but i think i paid two 219 each for my two foam ones that i got from the restaurant supply place yeah um, they're good them in a pinch but yeah they're they're fantastic i love them um yeah uh they do the the rails are a little tight the little slots for the, the pans are a little tight they're a little you tight only because we double pan, you know, because you yeah. have, we do our disposable pan inside of a hotel pan to give gotcha. it the support on the lips. Because otherwise the lips will, yeah, you'll lose the pans. They'll all yeah. collapse, drive another road. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, no, typically we don't send out a an email saying, hey, hope everything was great. Thanks for having us. If you don't mind, could you give us some feedback, good or bad or otherwise, blah, 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 blah. Um, we've never, we've never, outside of a couple times when we first were getting going, did we ever ask for reviews? Um, but with that being said, after our conversations last week, um, that's something we're probably going to start doing. Um, we're going to have some sort of form or a, a form letter type of thing Yeah, where it's going to be pretty consistent. Um, thank you for letting us be a part of your day. Hope everything went well. We'd love to hear your feedback, good, bad, or otherwise. Um, if you feel up to it, please leave a review in one or as many as you would like of these spots. Um, and then leave it at that. And if they do, they do. Um, yeah, I like I like the idea of giving them, I mean, Square will automatically send you something where you can, you know, do the reviews, but, but no you can't really. The reviews. Exactly. Unless you, unless you copy and paste them, you know, yeah. nobody can see them. Yeah, I would so, love to see Square have something that you know, I would export, love it. exports to like Yelp. Yeah. We could partner with Yelp or something um, or just makes them viewable, especially yeah. now that they, they're so big on the online stores and stuff. Yeah. Like make those available so people can see. But anyways. So I had the, the last drop off I did yesterday. Um, there he, he came up to her, the the gentleman came up to me. And said, "Hey, do you have Venmo?" I'm like, "Well, yeah, yeah ish. <laughs> I don't know how to use it." Um, I said, "So I told him, I said, no, not really." He's like, "Oh, well, I, I just want to give you something." He's like, "Can I just go through the invoice and tip you?" I'm like, "Well, it's already closed out." Um, I'm like, "Don't worry about it. Just, I'm not here for the tips. Just you want to you want to do a good thing, write a good review on Google or something." So, what have you instructed your people? when you do a drop off or something mm -hmm. of that nature that if they, um, if the party wants to tip, but they don't have, I would say traditional means like here's a, here's cash. Mm -hmm. Um, have you instructed your people like what to say, like what to tell them? No. So if, if they if, just stand there with their hand out <laughs> and don't leave until someone comes back with cash. <laughs> No, I mean, do they, do, like, would Chris, like, if Chris had Venmo, would he give him his Venmo? Like, would I don't it be think up? so. What about Caleb? I, I, I would be shocked if either of them did that. Okay. 
Cash yeah, I, I, I'd be I'd be shocked. I did have fun, somebody pay an invoice with Cash App. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> I forgot that I turned it on. <laughs> um, yeah. we went through a whole lot of tipping stuff last time, but yeah, it, it's. So if they got approached and said, "Yeah, I'd like to leave a tip," the options on the invoice, at that point, most people haven't already paid. Oh, I, yeah. Mine, you know, mine us paid getting paid time. before we drop off is pretty rare. Really? Um, and when they do it, it's two months ahead of time, and then I get all annoyed with it anyway. So, <laughs> see, I do, um, I do half thirty days ahead of time and half day of, yeah. or day before, yeah. one or two. Yeah. Um, yeah, mine are due day of typically. So. Um, oh, you're just you're just dropping food and setting up and <laughs> not getting not even getting paid for it until later. <laughs> normally, it'll be paid when we show up, yeah, in one way or another. Um, I hate checks. Yeah, we we've gotten a few this year. Anyways, um, yeah, I I'd be shocked if they actively say hey yeah here's my venmo throw me well, some I'm, cash i'm, I'm, I'm just know. no i'm saying if the if the customer said no, like, yeah i know but yeah, yeah i'd be shocked if they handed it they gave their personal venmos and here's the biggest part of why is because all the tips get split no i know so I get it, it. and everybody knows that and everybody's good with that um on a rare chance that i say because i think i've told caleb this before it's like he comes in just to do a catering drop off for us I said, if they give you anything extra, here's the bill. Here's what's due. They said they're paying cash. I said anything extra, go ahead and keep. You know, you're coming in just to drop off a catering for us. Yeah, go ahead. That's all yours. If there's anything there, you know. Sure. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's a. Uh, what if it's what if it's already paid and there was a tip added, but he's still the only one coming in? Do you? What if what? So what if it was already paid, right? It was paid ahead of time. Whole okay. invoice, whatever. Yeah. They added a hundred dollar tip. Yep. But he's the one doing it. I'll go through Just, and adjust stuff. I, I do that all the time. Okay. So you'd give him the hundred dollar tip or yeah. whatever. Well, okay. That's yeah, awesome. It happened uh, earlier. I think earlier this week. Yeah. With our celebration of life thing. So she paid the night before no one was punched in. So, okay. no one, yeah. so the tip didn't get sent to anybody. Um, so yeah, I have to make an adjustment on the pay period to make sure that that tip goes to Chris. Cause he actually was working when we had the catering event. Huh. Make sense. Yep. So yes, I, I have to make sure that I keep track of some of that stuff, but, um, my staff does a pretty good job of reminding me. <laughs> I bet they do. <laughs> um, I bet they, this, I bet this come in from Bernie, uh, following up is key. I always say thank you and ask how the food went over. If they loved it, then follow up with review link. Don't just send the review link first. That could be bad. <laughs> I'm okay with having bad reviews out there. If as long as they're legitimate. Me too. Shows It shows you are human. I, I think it, I think it allows an opportunity for a good dialogue and showing responsiveness to problems. So, um, we are very fortunate that, um, we are five star. We've never had a bad review on Facebook. We're five star rated on Facebook. Um, as far as I can tell, we're the only five star food truck at Grand Rapids. Um, and that's with a hundred reviews, which I know isn't a ton, but, um, I'll take it. Um, absolutely. And that's, that's non-solicited reviews. So um, I think we're 4.9 on Yelp. Um, and I, I think we're 4.9 on Google too. Um, so yeah, I, I don't discourage bad reviews. So um, yeah, something wasn't perfect, then great. But um, I do appreciate when people, if something is wrong, we've had it before, um, where people have come back quietly um, or send us a personal message versus posting. And these weren't even regular customers type of thing. Like, you know, a, a foreign object in a, in some potato salad or something like that. Like there's a piece of a corner of a piece of paper or 
a piece of latex from a glove or whatever that found its way in there um, that they've come back. Like, yeah, I didn't want to make a big fuss. I didn't want to post anything. Just wanted to let you know, you know, type of thing. And those people are great and I love it. And, you know, and if, if they felt the need to post a review about it, I, I would welcome it. I don't, I don't shy away from, from interacting with those as long as you can remain level-headed and non-defensive. Absolutely. So I, I think there are things that you can be defensive against, but yeah, as far as that goes, I, yeah, it, it, it's all about being authentic and, you know, no one's perfect. Bad things are going to happen. People are going to have bad experiences at your truck. Um, that's all about how you handle them. So, yeah, like, um, I, think, like I said, it's, I believe it does show that you're human yep. and even, you know, as much as we want everything to be perfect, it's, it's not going to be, you can only hope for, you can only hope to get texts like this. All the food was exceptional. Many positive comments from our guests on how good the food was. We'll definitely be ordering from you again. Thank you. You can only hope for that. That's why I will typically, if I have a phone number, I'll send a text. Um, just for like, to, like we do a lot of drop off. So like an hour afterwards, probably um, just making sure everything was to you, was, was to your expectations. Mm. Um, I love to use the phrase under promise and over deliver. Um, yep. Working in the mortgage industry, that's kind of what I based my whole life on. How's the food? It's, it's okay. It's, it's fair. It's fair. Yeah. It's fair. Um, one thing it's I heard. Oh yeah. <laughs> one thing I heard Darren uh, Worth say on his podcast was, "I don't aim to be the best. I aim to be consistent." Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be the best, but hopefully, on your day, I'll be the best you ever had. <laughs> but yeah. it's good. But then again, consistently you get that. good food at, at restaurants and food trucks is always going to win. So, yeah. Uh, Skippy, uh, yeah. You keep, you keep glossing it over. I think you don't want to talk about it. Hmm. Well, we, we saw you wanted to. We wanted to get into numbers. We talked about my numbers. Oh, yeah, uh, numbers. <laughs> Skippy, what was your goal for the month of June? A lot. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sad. sure we talked. We talked about it on the podcast. I'm sure. Yes. Yes. Go back and find it. <laughs> uh, no, I thought, I thought that based off of what I had scheduled, um, it could be like a $70,000 month. And for that to happen, the days that um, I I was working, I had to run like, I think it was like a $3,000 day. Like every day I had to average out to a $3,000 day. <sighs> which is those are big days very big days yeah um but it wasn't outside the po- the realm of possibility just based off what i had scheduled well needless to say a few of those events uh were busts uh they were definitely not some of them were definitely not what i had hoped for um we did have our best day ever that was did almost five grand. That was our, that's our best day ever. Um, but a lot of them were in the, in the thousands, which I'm not upset about. Plus we, we had more catering than we've ever done. And I think in our whole existence in just this month, um, problem is, is most people paid their invoices ahead of time. So I was not getting paid for any of these <laughs> invoices. Um, especially this past weekend, I had, four go out and only one person had to pay. <laughs> it was like 270 bucks. Um, mm-hmm. So we ended up, I, we shot for uh, 70,000. Now, again, <laughs> uh, we came in at, we came in shy of that, uh, shy of that. Uh, at almost half, which is still a damn good month. Um, considering I do most of it myself. Uh, we came in just under 33. So I'm not upset by that. I'm disappointed that we, but I think that was my, my, that was my bad. Uh, that was, it was just my bad. 
you know, when we went into one, one of the events that I thought was just going to be absolutely huge and it was a bust, I'm like, oh, sugar. Like, that's just, this is where it's going to be. All right. But, so, but we're at, uh, we, we still ended up, um, up, uh, 23.65% over last month or over June of 2023. And that's good, which, man. Which was, which was a damn good June. So, yeah, I think we're, we're still, we're still doing good. We're, we're going to be, we're, we're still doing good. Like I'm happy so far. We're, we're, we're well up over, over like year over year. So, um, uh, year over year right now, based off the same time frame, uh, we're up almost 31%. So I can't. I can't beat that. So yeah, for June for us, we were up 12% for the month. Um, so we went from 52, seven to 59, one. Um, but yeah, I mean, hella good, man. Yeah, I thought anytime, was... anytime you're posting 20% increases, whether it be month to month or year to year, man, I mean, you're doing things right and you're building well. So, um, I mean, we're, we're up year to year right now. We're up 8%. Um, I'm hoping we can get that to 10. Uh, July was a decent ish month for us last year. Um, you hate July though. Like July you... and August are our slowest months typically of the, <laughs> the summer stretch. So, so last year, July and August was my busiest month, yeah. busiest months. So I'm hoping like last so last July we finished at 36 and last August we finished almost 37. So, so our, so May so the May to September <sighs> summer, summer run, um, those five months, July and August are always our slowest. Yeah. And that was even with us having a record July last year, <laughs> a record July of 42,000. And that was our best July we ever had. We have, uh, two, really have two major festivals um, on, on the 12th and 13th and the 19th and 20th. So a lot of what I'm doing is I'm kind of banking on that. We've got a few private events. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be out competing again uh, for hopefully a uh, first and second place goes to the world food championships this year. It's not in Dallas this year. They moved it to Indianapolis, which is a lot closer drive. Mm -hmm. so we're that's on the my birthday is this 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 month so we're gonna have a we're gonna have a good birthday got a couple food truck rallies i think we're gonna do okay i don't know if we'll get to 36 to be honest with you i think i'm hoping we will last year when i did the the celtic festival that saturday i sold out in two and a half hours i did like four so, grand by myself so you're bringing more food this time right oh i'm Oh boy. <laughs> I'm actually contemplating taking the rotisserie there on like a, just a separate trailer and just, I'm going to have, I think I saw your, um, your festival set up is you just have one of those like fold up bar tables outside mm -hmm. and people just come up there. All's we're, yep. All's we're doing is taking orders there. Um, and that's just to alleviate the traffic inside. Yeah. Um, that way we don't have all the extra noise. Um, Chris, so when Chris can get going, he can take orders fast. Yeah, and he he can bury me back there. Like there's no room on the rail for tickets, and there's like six hanging off the printer. And oh yeah, um, so you know it's so I can usually yell at him pretty easily to say hey, slow down, stop taking orders for a second. Um, we didn't have that at all last Friday, and I think part of that was me not listening to what's going on with him taking orders like subconsciously and yeah. then have Caleb also talking to him. Like there's so much other stuff going on. I can just focus and go. Yep. Um, and Chris was like, I said, like, you didn't tell me to stop. And I didn't, it was so quiet inside. I didn't know what was going on. So I just kept taking orders and yeah, it was perfect, man. It was yeah, just do what you gotta just, do. We were just humming along and it, it was what the really, easiest $1,300 what, what really, hour I've ever done. <laughs> what really hurts is the fact that you clear your rail and realize there's still eight tickets on the printer. <laughs> Well, and we have to be so when you pull them off, you have to be careful. It doesn't, nothing doesn't catch and fall off. Like, it's, yeah. yeah. Um, 
so yeah, we did. I, I think we can beat last July. We did forty two five last July, um, and you know, typically we take a few days off, which we're doing this year too. So, um, but Jim, we're we're gonna have four weeks, even with the four days off. I think we're gonna have four full weeks of. So we just need to do eleven grand a week, and we'll be okay. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this the start goes this week, and we have yeah a lot of concert series, a lot of movies in the park type of thing. Um, we have some catered corporate lunches again for other places. So, um, a couple of festivals, we have a, a Dwajiak summer fest. Yeah. We have a, a, a shop local uh, festival at deep roots. That's uh, our first one. Um, I think that's going to be probably a pretty good day for us. Um, yeah, I think w- th- we have some good opportunity to have a, a good July. So, um, good. but with your $70,000 projection, like dude, my first couple of years, Especially if when we went from our first full time year to the next year, where we did an eighty percent increase in sales from year one full time to year two full time, um, it's like, all right, if we only we do half as good as we did the year before, we're gonna have a forty percent increase. So let's figure that out, you know? Yeah. And so yeah. I have I have a number written in three different spots in my office right now, and it's been there for the last two years before vision, this year. Your vision so, board. It's four hundred and fifty thousand. Oh, that's your that's, that's your sales. That's goal. her. That's our sales goal for yeah. a year, and we're not going to hit it this year either. But um, <laughs> I, I would like to get to a half million regularly. Would be pretty good for the truck. I think. Yeah, you pushing through a half million dollars in barbecue a year is pretty pretty awesome. It's a lot of freaking mac and cheese. It is a lot of mac and cheese, but so we did three thirty last year. If we can get to yeah, 360, 370 this year. So if I, if I can stay on, if I can stay on point. So right now I'm up 30, almost 31%. So if I can stay on point. Uh, I'm going to need you to fill some, some air time here for a second. I'll be right back. I would if I if I stay on point, I will hit a little over three hundred thousand. If I stay on point. Oh, I gotta fill airtime now. Well, I apologize you guys heard my dogs barking. I do have the door shut. Um this this has been this year so far has been a wild ride. Uh I'll just talk about myself, I guess. There's been a lot of learning. There's been a lot of still learning. Um I think after three years you're still learning. Um, if anybody's commenting, I can't see it. I'll let Josh take care of that. I think he's going to clean up his office if you're watching on YouTube. Um, going back to, we talked about communication, uh, being in the mortgage business for so long, you know, communication was key is basically how you got your next sale. And so that's my thought when I was asking Josh about putting, you know, sending messages or. You know, I've, I've even thought about sending, sending, you know, thank you cards out. Um, thanks for letting us be a part of your big event or your, your special event. Uh, I, I think it's, I think it always puts your, you in front of them. Uh, and I think that's the goal is you never know who's going to be there. You know, it might be somebody from, you know, a couple of years ago, I did um, an open house in a, in a very, we'll call it a rural area. And I've done seven open houses or grad parties, whatever you want to call them and a wedding, um, all in the same general vicinity from that one, uh, grad party I did, uh, which as far as money wise, I lost my ass on <laughs> I wasn't expecting all that, but, oh, he's back. We I'm back. stopped. We stopped talking about him. Well, keep talking about me. I don't mind. No, I was just, I was, went back to communication and talking to, talking to your customers and, <laughs> asking them, you know, making sure that their event was just as good. Um, not necessarily because your food was there, but that it was there to, uh, you never know who's going to be there. Um, never know who's going to be eating food and looking at, uh, at who provided it. Do you drop business cards when you go? No, not usually yeah. anymore. I haven't in a while. Do you, uh, um, do you set up like what, like little cards to tell people what food is? Yeah. 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 So we have these little, uh, tented chalkboards. 
Yeah. And then we slide them in. They fit right into the handles on the chafing dishes. Uh-huh. So, yep. Um, uh-huh. I'm hearing all kinds of weird knocks and stuff, like on the sides of the walls. Oh. Like, and that's an outside wall. So hey, that's, probably, it's very strange. I don't know what you're the probably ro- rodents in your eaves. Probably chipmunks, old bastards. Uh, I got a chipmunk underneath my front step that he will die soon. From Too bad. He's really cute. What will but he die from? Probably a 22 bullet in his little tiny noggin. <laughs> yeah, those things are fast. I am a very good shot. <laughs> I understand, but. Can you discharge a, uh, a a can you discharge a weapon in a residential area? I'm not in a residential area. You are too in a residential area. I'm not. Your neighbor is like a hundred feet from you. Okay, so, just it's not, a, it's not a neighborhood. It's not like I'm in a cul-de-sac. No, you got one it's behind a, it's you. It's a tw- it's a twenty-two. So it's a BB gun on steroids. <laughs> can it kill somebody? Yes. Yeah. Likely, no. <laughs> it's not going to bounce off the cranium. <laughs> no, probably not. No, I have a, a, I have, I'm a pretty good shot at with squirrels and chipmunks. So I've had lots of practice at my dad's house. I need to. I might just go get one then, just for all the shit that I have. They climb up the the J channel in my siding to get yeah. up. That's mm, bastard. Yeah. yeah, they can do a lot of damage. Um, this one, as far as I knew, was being a pretty good little soldier wherever he lived. Um, Like we have mice that live out in the trees. Like they tunnel underneath our trees and stuff, which is, I don't have a problem with that. Come get some bird seed off the ground. I don't care whatever you need to do. Right. But uh, yeah, yeah. I went to go pick up a bag of bird seed out of my garage and it started pouring out of the bottom. (laughs) That's a little, little fucker. You cross the line. We were having a nice, a nice little relationship. And you had to go and fuck it up. Now you got to die. Yep. So, yeah. Back across the border you go. <laughs> and uh, can John Stewart just run for president? Finally. <laughs> he's funny, mm-hmm. actually. <laughs> but he's smart. <laughs> and he could probably do the job. <laughs> I have more confidence in him than I do either of those two idiots. <laughs> That uh, that that debate was bad. <laughs> that, like, it wasn't even a debate. Like, I thought fact... all I saw was the highlights from <laughs> Me too. On social media. So yeah, I saw everything I, I needed to see. That's all I saw, and uh, they're bo- <laughs> both of them are, are just absolute train wrecks. You know, you know, it's really bad when CNN declares Trump the winner. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> And all the headlines what? I all the headlines I saw was uh, Democratic Party is is pa- in panic mode after Biden. I'm like they should be. I'm like sugar, honey, iced tea. Oh boy. I, yeah, I yeah, I don't know. Just bad. If, 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 yeah, I think I think we might actually have opportunity for Kennedy to make the next debate. I think he could realistically see a big jump in his numbers over the next week. (laughs) I don't think he's big enough for it, unfortunately. Did you not just see what happened? (laughs) No, I do, but I don't think, I still don't think he's. They spent 15 minutes talking about who was the better golfer. (laughs) They did. They did, for sure. A seven. Joe can hit the ball a long way. (laughs) Handicap. Like, they're both handicapped. Yes, they are. <laughs> and they tried yeah. to uh, they tried to interview uh, Harris afterwards, and they tried to ask her about is the Democratic Party in panic? <laughs> and she's like, she's I'm like, right where I want to be. <laughs> she's like, I'm not going to answer that. You guys are just trying to get me to answer that. I'm not going to answer that. I'm like, what the hell are you doing here? We need you to answer the, that. That's how it works. You, we <laughs> ask questions and you answer them. Exactly. Um, for the next one, I would like to see backstage footage. Like they need to have a camera on both camps of their people to see, <laughs> just so we can see. Oh my! 
to see who either either does this first or goes. Home. <laughs> yeah. 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 I would like to see that. That'd be good. We need some picture in picture. Um, I, I, these two have united our country in a way that I didn't think was going to be possible. No one's pissed off. There is no hate memes going back and forth on Facebook. Everybody's just making fun of both of them. They Everybody both, hates both of them. They both untied the country. Yeah. <laughs> Not united. Way to go, guys. Untied. Yeah. Good job, Ed. Now there, we can are, move on. on. Are, can you put them both in office and be like the, the real life grumpy old men? <laughs> <laughs> they go out ice fishing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Man, that's good. Yeah, our country's in good hands. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't miles. want to live anywhere else, though. So. No, I really wouldn't. I guess this there's land is my land. There's a lot of people who don't understand what um, what's the word. I think a lot of people don't don't take into consideration what's important to them, them and their family. Like, mm-hmm. my retirement plan is really important to me. Uh, whether, you know, people come over the border, eh, like, eh, I mean, ish, but my retirement plan is really important to me. <laughs> my healthcare is really important to me considering I pay for it. Bastard. Hey, I don't mind anybody coming into this country to seek out a better life. Just do it properly, please. Legally. Yes. And you notice, you know, hold on. I got one more thing. Sorry. We're just going to go off on a rant. We got three minutes left. Do you notice how Biden for the last three and a half years has not talked about bad, no. bad about the border like no. once? I haven't because I don't listen to any of it. Okay. Well, all right. I don't he know. Has, it, you know, I don't know anything he's said, good, bad, or otherwise. All I see is memes of him. Exactly. So he has not talked bad about the border. He said the border's under control. Everybody's happy, blah, blah. Yeah. Within the next six months, it's all about the border and securing the border and this, that, because that's what Trump runs on is securing the border. Yeah. Like, it irritates the but, snot out of me. And you know what? They, we have a lot of jobs in this country that no one wants to do, that migrant <laughs> workers are more than willing to do. Hey, it is what it, it, is, what it is. And then you know? true. For Trump's people that don't want to let anybody in and wants to kick everybody out that doesn't wasn't a natural born citizen or whatever, okay, go out and start picking watermelons. Well, because no one wants to do that here. And then at at a, at a rally, Trump said that uh, they're taking jobs away from black people. I'm like, what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> You know, they all, every one of the statements they do starts pretty good. And then they just go one sentence too many. Or in this Both case, it's, yeah. in this case, just like one half a sentence too yeah. many. You don't have to say everything you think. Yes. Yes. Please, please learn have to have a filter. Please. But please yeah, have I mean, a filter. Yeah. They're not taking any jobs from Americans because Americans have proven we don't want to go out and pick <laughs> watermelons and go out into muck fields and pick beans and things. Yes. We don't want to do it. We don't want to do it. So there are uh, so many of these jobs <laughs> that are still done by hand in, in farms. As that long can, as people come yeah. in legally. Come in legally. That's, yes. I don't have a problem with do the, we, do Do the right thing to begin when with. I worked at McDonald's in Lansing. Probably half of our staff was here on work visas. And that every check they sent back home to to their families. And where were they at? And, and okay. we absolutely loved them. Absolutely. I had no problem with them. I learned how to speak a whole lot of McDonald's lingo in Spanish. The um, only thing I learned from working on the line with, with a bunch of uh, Hispanic people is that if they're laughing and they're looking at you, they're, they're, <laughs> they're not laughing, laughing you. with you. They're, they're laughing, laughing at, at you. you. So please, <laughs> you're going to make like a word. nail salon. <laughs> <laughs> You, mm-hmm. you go you go in nail salons? I've been in a nail salon or two, yes. I've had a petty manny. It's a manny petty. It depends on what you have done first. I don't know if it is. I think it's just it called a manny petty. No. Nope. You've never petty heard man. somebody call it a petty manny. That's not true. You just heard me that say That sounds it. like pedophile. <laughs> you don't know what I do. 
on that note, guys, it's been a pleasure. Uh, this is the last episode and have a great day. Hey, by the way, I saw your wife post about the bear season three and which you still aren't watching, but you <sighs> fucking better. I couldn't get into it. I watched oh the first God. season. Second season was yeah, I just dropped it. What? I started watching the boys again. Boys are great. Oh my God. Whatever. Everybody else. Uh, the bear is phenomenal. It's a great show. Um, watch it. He's a good actor. He's definitely a good actor. It's a great show. Eh, it's a fair show. Oh, my God. All right, everybody. Uh, peace out. We will talk to you uh, next Monday, I think, unless something happens. But no. um, Peace and bacon grease. Peace and bacon grease or some other comment. Have a great week. Uh, sell all the things. Have a happy and safe Fourth of July. Uh, you'll need those fingers to cut vegetables uh, on the 5th. So uh, keep them intact, everybody. Other than that, peace out. Have a great day.